What's the word, y'all? We all just witnessed history, man. It's not very often that you get to see an all-time record get broken. Like, I had to go back. We might be able to see LeBron beat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's points, but all the other awards, there's nobody that's active that's really close. So yesterday was a very, very special day, man. Shout out to Steph Curry. I think that other than doing it at home, the guard, it was a perfect place to get it done. Um, and I like that they stopped the play. I know y'all be playing 2K, and when you're grinding badges and you hit that 101 points or you hit that 31 assists, they always stop play, call timeout, and celebrate. And that's exactly what they did. Shout out to Steve Kerr. And it was super inspirational to me. And I don't mean in the sense that... <laughs> Watching Steph Curry hit his 2,974 three, is that the number? Three-point shot made me want to go to the gym and get shots up. But, like, it's just such a good story. Now, it's not like a rags to riches story because Dale was in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? He had an NBA father. But whenever I see a guy that's under, like, 6'3", dominating anything basketball-related, it's inspirational, man. This dude is a 6'2 guard, and he's getting three-point shots up over Giants. This is a guy that revolutionized the game of basketball. Like, while we were getting up to this point, I had went down this rabbit hole. Went back to the 2015-2016 season, his last MVP, the unanimous MVP season. And I went down a rabbit hole watching interviews, watching highlights, and it just made me admire Steph Curry even more. I mean, a dude averaged 30 points per game in 50-40-90 on an extreme value of three-point shots. The 50-40-90 club is small. Shout out to Kevin Durant because he was averaging like 28, if I'm not mistaken. But the 50-40-90 club is super, super small. So going back on that season made me admire Steph Curry more. And to see him hit this shot very early on in that, that first quarter was special, man. Y'all know we preach to enjoy basketball around here, right? And I would say 95% of the timeline was admiring Steph Curry, congratulating Steph Curry. Just are in the moment and celebrating this all-time record being broken. But that was like the 5% that was very salty about Steph Curry doing this. People in the mentions after I was saying congratulations to Steph Curry in the mentions like, why is this such a big deal? The answer is because we don't see all-time records get broke every single day. And then other people bringing up like moments of Steph Curry's career where he was subpar. Like in the, in the finals where he wasn't able to perform. This is how, imagine going to somebody's graduation ceremony and being like, but he failed Psych 101. <laughs> I, I can't celebrate that he graduated right now because he failed psych. It's, it's ludicrous. And you just got to enjoy it while it's here, man. Steph Curry's 33 years old, and basically it don't seem like he's going to slow down anytime soon. But eventually, he will not be at this same caliber of player. So appreciate it. Like, you got to think about it. This dude, if it wasn't for some ankle injuries early in his career where he played 26 games in his third season, or just a couple years ago when he played five games, this record would have been broken like two to three years ago, and he'd be... Like, way ahead of everybody. And Steph Curry's rookie year, on average in the NBA, there were 18 three-point attempts per game. 18. Right now, it is 35.5. This is a guy that revolutionized the game of basketball. Um, I have a, I have a cousin that's really solid. Shout out to him. He's a freshman in high school. He's, he's playing varsity. And I remember going to some of his games when he was even younger and watching him play and watching the younger people play and I, I honestly do believe that Steph Curry has gave hope to a lot of the smaller guys that have basketball dreams. Remember, we're talking about a dude that is 6'2", right? Realistically speaking, you have to hit the genetic lottery to end up being the average NBA size. So Steph Curry being the guy that he is had all the younger dudes in the gym pulling from the logo. Now, you can argue whether or not that's good for 10 or 11 and 12-year-olds to be pulling for the logo, but it puts an extra emphasis of confidence that this basketball dream is not dead just because I might only be six foot or I might only be six one. Steph Curry did that for everybody. And you have to think about it. Right now, we're already seeing some of the Steph Curry disciples. Trey Young is one of those dudes. Now, I know that Trey Young's all-time idol is Steve Nash, but if you go back, he mentioned multiple times that he idolized Steph Curry. And the reason why he's shooting from so far back is about Steph Curry. We already seen one of the disciples, and he's doing it now. He's not doing it at Steph Curry efficiency. That's the big thing. That's the big thing. And there's not going to be a lot of people that will be able to hit the shots at the efficiency of Steph Curry, but we're already seeing that. And I think that every single season, there might be a Steph Curry disciple coming to the NBA. Now, they're not going to all be as successful as Trey Young, but we're going to continue to see players come in and be launching from logos. And the next part of the conversation is whether or not this record will ever be broken again. Um, Steph Curry still got a lot left in the tank. Remember, he's 33 years old, and he's a, the MVP favorite, according to a lot of people. So he's not slowing down anytime soon. And if he's just putting together average season once it gets to three-point shots, he might end his career, realistically, at about 4,000 three-pointers made. 
Can that record be broken? Probably. You got to think about it. every record was meant to be broken except for except for John Stockton steals because I legit think that they was giving bro steals when he won't really get in the steals. Every record was meant to be broken. And I mentioned how the game has changed because Steph, if Steph Curry were to enter the league right now and then have a similar career, I think that record is not being broken if he's coming into the league hitting 40, 400 threes in a season. But you have to remember, when he got drafted, only 18.1 three-pointers were attempted per game. So his first couple seasons, just 163 pointers, 151, then we had the injured season, and then we get to the 200s, 200, 200, 400. That se again, that season is so ridiculous, bro. That is a ridiculous, ridiculous season. So realistically speaking, let's say that Steph Curry ends up putting up 300 three-pointers every year if he's completely healthy he might end up at 4,000. also i'm not a math guy numbers confuse me and y'all know this so don't <laughs> don't take this too serious but there are some guys like i mentioned trey young who's a steph curry disciple who's already started off his career a lot faster than what steph curry did he came in at 20 years old he's been relatively healthy so far in his career and he's already at about 600 three-pointers made and three and a half seasons but even if we're 15 years down the line and Trey Young beats Steph Curry's record. I don't think that that makes him the greatest shooter of all time. I still believe that Steph Curry will hold the title of the greatest shooter of all time, even if his actual record was broken by a guy like Trey Young. Because I'm thinking about the efficiency in which, in which he did it. This man has shot 43% from three his entire career on, on about nine attempts per game. I mean, the man is, is shooting 43% from his career from three on about nine attempts last year or this year 40 percent 42 percent and then he had the year where he hurt his hand so 24 percent that looks bad on his resume but regardless 43 percent 42 percent 41 percent 45 percent i'm telling you that 2015 2016 season is one of the greatest individual seasons of all time and again compared to another guy like trey young he's shooting 34 percent on his career so again the value might get it so that Steph Curry's record is broken 15, 20 years down the line. But again, I don't think nobody's going to be able to hit 3,000 threes at 43% from three. I don't know, man. I watched that moment. And honestly, since I found out that I was going to be a dad, I've been way more emotional on things that probably don't warrant <laughs> emotion. Like, I don't know Steph Curry. I've never met this man a day in my life. But I was emotional for him when he hit that shot and he screamed and he got teary-eyed. I got teary-eyed like I was the one in the gym. Well, I was the one training, bro, to hit the three, almost 3,000 threes. It's kind of wild, man. But I am a guy that enjoys basketball, and that moment was was fun. But Steve Kerr said, like, the, the best thing about it all is they end up winning the game. I mean, that that's super important. You didn't want to have this legendary moment be soiled by Julius Randle. So they got that win. And it's just an amazing moment for Steph Curry. And now we just keep the tracker going. How many can he can he realistically hit before he retires? I got mentioned in this tweet, shout out to Greg Harvey, between the numbs. Um, he puts together these type of things very, very often. And I want us to sit back and, and just look at the progression of the three-point shot and how Steph Curry got to this point. So the three-point line came in here, and we just watch as people go up. I have not watched this just yet because I wanted to save it for the video. I'm going to keep it a buck. If I pause right here, how many names here do you recognize? You see Larry Bird is climbing up. Dale Grith is climbing up. Reggie Theus is, is there. Brian Winters is there. But like the top of the top, who is this? Who are these dudes? Brats? I don't know you. But now, I'm. oh, Dale Grith is up there and there's Larry Bird. You knew that Larry Ledger was going to take over. Look at Larry Bird, another player to average some crazy numbers, 50, 40, 90. And then Dale Ellis and Larry Bird and Danny Ainge and... and, and and Michael Adams, they all fighting for that top spot. I don't know much about Michael Adams. I didn't know he held the record for that long. There's Dale Ellis taking over. Reggie Miller comes up. Reggie Miller comes up, and I'm guessing he's about to body this. Yeah, he takes that first place spot, and he runs with it. Dale Ellis slows down. Reggie Miller speeds up. Look, he has an all 300-plus uh, over number two, and he's still active in 2000. Oh, my God. 500 plus i bet at this moment in time people thought that this was going to be an unbeatable record but they had no idea of the evolution of basketball look at him go reggie miller and oh, oh who's there jesus showed the word for himself ray allen coming onto the scene dominating okay so we're at 2008 2009 we're about to get to where steph curry entered the league keep that in mind ray allen give me that record and I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And Ray Allen's about to stop pretty soon.
and where is Steph Curry? We are in 2012, 2013, and Steph Curry's not even in the top, what is this, like 20? He's not even there just yet. Okay, so we have hit the final number for Ray Allen, and Steph Curry is not even on the board. This is this is seven years ago. Steph Curry's not even there. Uh-huh. I'm just waiting for Steph to come up. We're in 2015, 2016, and Steph Curry has not even been shown yet. Uh-huh. There he is. He just jumped up. He's right there between. Okay, let's let's see the moment that he hit the board. There he is. 2015, 2016. Now watch him fly up from 2015-2016 to 2021-22. Look at him fly. Dominating. Pass Reggie. And now today, passing Ray Allen. I love the NBA because there are so many players in it that are easy to root for. I don't know a single player that I can, at this point at 25 years old, say that I hate watch. Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, the greatest Giannis, all of the greatest players in the league right now are so easy to watch because they're, they're such good people off the court. Or in Kevin Durant's case, super funny off court when he's replying to Skip Bayless saying, I don't, I don't really like you. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons why I really do enjoy the game of basketball, enjoy the NBA, because watching Steph Curry's journey has been a blast. There's nothing in his career that made me want to start to dislike him. And the same thing for KD, Giannis. I can't say the same about LeBron, honestly. I was in the camp that hated LeBron in the Heatle days, but I'm over that. Because right now I'm enjoying basketball, and hopefully you are too. Um, I don't know what this video turned into, but hopefully um, we get a good slate of games tonight, and I'll be back tomorrow to talk about all things NBA that's not just one player related. But I wanted to show my appreciation to Steph Curry and, uh, and everything.